Okay. There you go. You see it ride. Uh, it'll take you up some hill. I'm still not completely twerked to this thing, tweaked this thing for his best performance. But it will go up some hills. In other hills, you just pedal. I can drive up. My, I can ride it up my driveway, which is pretty steep. And I can just I can pedal, hold onto the handlebar with one hand, pedal up my driveway, and drink a cup of coffee in the other. And it's real steep, so doesn't do too bad. I think it could do better. There's my drive shaft there. That is the end of a weed whacker, my friends. I just cut the end of the weed whacker off and turned it into my drive shaft, and there's another pipe in there that slides over top of it, so I can put different friction surfaces on the piece that slides over top of it and change it. And uh, I guess I could, if one side of that friction drive thing gets messed, you know, gets real wore down, I can just flip it over and use the other side, sorta, sorta. All right. Anyways. There you go. Friction drive, bicycle, motorized, mountain bike, whatever you want to call it. It sure does extend how far you can go on your bicycle. And like I'm saying, I, well, I haven't said it, but I live in a hilly, hilly area. As you can see. See that hill? Sticks up way above that house over there. See that hill? Yeah, I live in a hilly place. If you were to... Uh, have this in Houston, Texas, your transportation problems would be over, my friends. You wouldn't, you would be able to go all over Houston since it's flat and doesn't have hills very, I mean, hills, there's no hills even as big as my driveway. So, like, uh, can't really tell, but there's a hill right over there. I ride up it every day on that one. I don't even have to pedal. Well, anyways. Chat, you want to know how to build this? Check into my webpage there, and uh, you will see information on it. Sorry about the condition of my webpage at this point. I'm still learning how to build web pages. So you guys, uh, oh yeah, if anybody likes what I'm doing on that webpage about how to make this bicycle, I would really appreciate it if you linked me to other bicycle forums and stuff. Tell them, hey man, here's a guy with an idea. And send them on over, but if not, then don't forget about it. Don't don't link me to nobody. If you think it sucks, and don't link me to nobody. Here we go. We got gas, gas right there. Okay, and it just comes down back here, and I just got wood screws holding that, and wood screws holding that, and there it goes over to the gas, to the carburetor, and uh, I got some extra gas there in my little cup holder. Uh, that's a weed whacker gas tank. Uh, uh, uh. There's my tire. My first friction spindle I put on there was with uh, some dirt. And, and there's some little pebbles. I couldn't get all the little pebbles out of it. But mostly dirt. I was going to use sand. But every time I went riding by some sand, I kept forgetting to get it. So outside my house, I just got dirt out of the driveway. And... Yeah, that did work even better than the rubber, it seems like, because it let the uh, the spindle, the drive shaft, spin more than this rubber does. The rubber gets a way better grip, so it, it could spin faster, but hey, it wore down the tire. That's only a couple weeks of uh, testing her out and riding her around. We did have as much tread as this front tire did. I did have about that much tread on the back tire. I'm thinking those uh, those uh, beach cruisers with the big fat tires that don't have very much tread on them and they're flat on them. That's probably the best tire you're going to get for this type of system. I will be eventually trying to uh, make a uh, system with a uh, chain on it. Either I'm going to get, you can get one of these, the front gear thing here, and you can get it with two gears and it's a uh, a Shimano and both this thing's freewheeled. It moves in any direction no matter where you're holding the uh, the pedal. So you could you could hook a chain right here and run it up like back here to an engine or hook it up and put an engine right here and then it could turn this and then you could still use these gears back here which would 
dude if I hooked that weed whacker engine up to these gears back here and it had in yeah yeah I think you might be able to fly balls on this thing I mean just kill it on speed and power but all right